Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to show you how to make this jack-o'-lantern luminary. Luminum what? It's a luminary, that's what I called it. Is that oh. not what it is? Or should Alum I just call it a jack-o'-lantern? A, lu a luminary. Is that not what the word is? I thought luminary was the character on Beauty and the Beast. We're making this, it lights up. It's a jack-o'-lantern made out of a container. Okay, lights on? It's not adjusting. Wow. It's a, it was, it, we were inside the luminary. Am I too pale for the camera to adjust? <laughs> it didn't read me as screen with all the white light. Okay. Oh, oh gosh. As always, before we get started, thank you for sending in your pictures and videos of the kits that you've done or the projects that you're working on. We always like seeing them and sharing them. If you want to send us anything, use the QR code right on the front of your kit and we'll feature it in an upcoming video. Okay. In your kit, we've got a little jar with a cap. We've got a paintbrush. We've got a tea light that should have the battery in it so that it'll light up. We've got some Mod Podge. Mod, po Mod Podge. We've got tissue paper and a black piece of construction paper. What else do we need? The only other thing you'll probably need for this project is a pair of scissors. That's it. Your first step is to cover your container with the orange tissue paper. So if you want to, you can try and cover your container with just one big piece of tissue paper. Um, but what we are doing is ripping it up into smaller pieces and kind of putting it on like a collage. And it'll give your pumpkin a cool like texture and look once the light is inside. Mod Podge collage. How we're going to do that is using our Mod Podge and the paintbrush. And to get it to stick to the container, you're going to do a thin layer of Mod Podge, stick the tissue paper on, and then a little bit of Mod Podge on top of that. Mod Podge. Mod Podge. So thin layers of glue, Mod Podge. And then just stick it on a piece of that... that uh, what is this called? <laughs> tissue paper. Tissue paper. There we go. And when it, like, if you get a, like, a little flap of it that's not sticking down, you just get some more glue. And you just put it on top. It'll dry clear, so. Do I need to do any more than that? No, oh, it looks good. Oh. Compliment. Now, that's a, uh, a lot of a lot of Mod Podge. We'll put it right here. There we go. Um, but it'll it'll dry clear. Yeah. What do you think, Kristen? It looks good. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, crafting is fun, you know. All right. Oh, you beat me. Who? No, I'm not done. Oh. Who is the best pumpkin of all time? Oh. Is it Spookly? Is it the Great Pumpkin? What other pumpkins are there? <laughs> I can only think of two. I like pumpkin, pumpkin pie. I ha I gotta eat one piece a year, and then I'm done. Oh yeah. And I don't yeah, eat it again. Yeah. And if it doesn't have whipped cream on top, then get it out of here. Next, we need to make the eyes and the mouth for our jack o' lantern luminary. So. There's like a million ways you could do this. I mean, you there's like round eyes. Whatever you want. It can be silly, eyes. spooky. What are you going to do? I might kind of go with a classic kind of look. I like the classic. Yeah, yeah. So I think I'm, I think I'm going to go with a classic look. So. so to put your face on your jack-o'-lantern, we're going to do the same thing. Like my face? <laughs> we'll do the same thing that we did with the tissue paper. Cut out your construction paper to the shapes that you want and do... A little bit of Mod Podge, stick the paper on, and then cover it with a little more Mod Podge. So I cut out a shape for teeth. There, so you guys can kind of see it. It really wasn't anything. It was almost like a, it's almost like a, 
almost like you were cutting out like a moon or something like that. And instead, I just notched it with like teeth, teeth for that. Um, that's how mine is coming out looking. You could probably actually make two faces on this if they were small enough. Like you could make it so you could have like two sides. Like maybe it's like a, a happy and like a mean one, Ooh. or like a happy or a sad one. Don't make a sad one. This is the best time of the year. <laughs> so once your jack-o'-lantern face is on, the only thing left to do is to turn on that little candle in your kit. There we go. Drop it inside. Let's just, oh, look at that. I don't want to go get the lights. <laughs> Which jack-o'-lantern face is the scariest? And now switch back to the other <laughs> camera. <laughs> oh. Behind the scenes. 